In the early 1990s, the Volta River Authority, VRA, the agency responsible for managing Ghana's electricity needs, began exploring potential hydroelectric sites across the country's White, Black, and Odi River basins. These feasibility studies were part of a larger vision to harness Ghana's water resources for electricity generation, irrigation, and flood control. Among the potential sites identified was the White Volta Basin, where the conception of the Pualugu Dam took root. Quick reminder for those who haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so to stay updated on such insightful content and help us reach our goal of 30,000 subscribers by the end of this month. Your support means a lot. The location was strategic. The White Volta River offered an opportunity to address several development needs, particularly in the northern regions of Ghana. By 2013, the momentum for advancing the Pualugu multi-purpose dam had increased significantly. Ghana sought international partners to bring the ambitious project to life and in stepped France's Agence Française de Développement, providing crucial financial backing. The technical expertise of the World Bank also became invaluable, ensuring that the project adhered to global best practices. Together, these partnerships began shaping the future of the Pualugu Dam, positioning it as a key national infrastructure that would bolster electricity production, improve irrigation for agriculture, and mitigate flooding risks. It wasn't until 2018, however, that the project made substantial headway. The Volta River Authority completed a comprehensive feasibility study assessing the technical, financial, and environmental aspects of constructing a large-scale dam. In addition, an Environmental and Social Impact Assessment, ESIA, was completed, a critical step in determining the dam's potential effects on local communities and ecosystems. These milestones moved the project from mere concept into the implementation phase, bringing the vision of the Pualugu Dam closer to reality. The plans for the dam were nothing short of impressive. The Pualugu Dam would stand 165 meters high near the Pualugu Bridge on the White Volta River. The structure would create a massive reservoir stretching across 350 square kilometers. This vast body of water would not only supply water for irrigation and domestic use, but also support a hydroelectric powerhouse equipped with two turbines. Together, these turbines would generate 60 megawatts of installed capacity, contributing to Ghana's national electricity grid. Additionally, a 12-meter-high weir would be constructed as part of the project, enabling the irrigation of a sprawling 25,000-hectare area, bringing much-needed relief to farmers who depend on seasonal rainfall. Strategically located 16 kilometers east of the Pualugu Bridge, the dam would span the boundary between Ghana's Upper East and Northeast regions. This positioning was critical for its multi-purpose role, particularly in managing water resources in an area prone to both droughts and floods. However, the dam's success would not solely rely on its structural grandeur. Effective river basin management would require coordinated operations with other significant dams in the region. Most notably, the Pualugu Dam's function would need to align with the upstream Bagre Dam in Burkina Faso, which has historically caused flooding in northern Ghana due to spillage. Downstream, it would also need to synchronize with the Akasambo and Kapong dams, ensuring optimal water management across the entire Volta River system. The potential benefits of the Pualugu Dam were manifold. Its irrigation scheme promised to transform agricultural productivity in the region, providing a reliable water source to farmers who currently face unpredictable rainfall patterns. The dam would also contribute to national energy security, generating clean electricity to feed into the grid. Perhaps most crucially for local communities, the dam would mitigate the impact of floods caused by the Bagre Dam, offering a long-awaited solution to the devastating floods that regularly displace thousands of residents and destroy crops in Ghana's northern regions. In these ways, the Pualugu Dam offered a hopeful vision for the future, addressing critical challenges while promising significant development outcomes. The ceremonial launch of the dam's construction took place on November 29, 2019. President Nana Ado Dankwa Akufo Ado presided over the groundbreaking event, marking the official start of a project decades in the making. During his speech, the president emphasized his government's commitment to fulfilling its promises, 
particularly in ensuring development projects like the Pualugu Dam came to fruition. The event was a moment of celebration for many in the Upper East region, as the dam promised to bring long-term economic benefits and increased resilience against flooding. However, the excitement of the groundbreaking soon gave way to concerns over the slow progress of construction. More than a year after the ceremonial launch, visible signs of advancement were scarce. This delay raised frustrations among residents of the Upper East region, particularly during the rainy seasons when heavy rainfall combined with spillage from the Bagre Dam once again led to destructive floods. With little to show in terms of construction, doubts began to emerge about whether the Polugu Dam would meet its projected completion date or deliver on its promised benefits. As the 2024 election season approaches, the Pualugu Dam has become a focal point of political debate. Vice President Mahamudu Bawumia, the New Patriotic Party, NPP's flag bearer and a native of the northern regions, has acknowledged the challenges facing the project. In a speech in November 2022, Bawumia admitted that funding issues had caused delays but reaffirmed the government's commitment to completing the dam. He outlined a strategy that would include leveraging private sector investment and incorporating modern agricultural techniques to maximize the dam's impact. The vice president repeated these assurances in several subsequent speeches, including during his campaign tour in May 2024, where he sought to rally support for the project and his party. On the other side of the political aisle, former President John Dramani Mahama, the National Democratic Congress, NDC's candidate, has also pledged to make the Pualugu Dam a priority. In a fiery speech in August 2024, Mahama criticized the handling of the project under the current administration, alleging financial mismanagement and a lack of tangible progress despite nearly $12 million being spent. Mahama vowed that if elected, he would ensure continuous funding and oversee the dam's completion, presenting himself as the candidate who could bring the project over the finish line. The Pualugu Dam has thus become more than just an infrastructure project. It has emerged as a symbol of political accountability and a key issue for the voters of the Upper East region. For the people of this region, who are no strangers to the promises and pitfalls of national development projects, the dam represents both hope and frustration. On the one hand, its successful completion would deliver tangible benefits in the form of electricity, irrigation, and flood control, addressing long-standing needs. On the other hand, the slow progress thus far has left many skeptical, questioning whether these promises will ever materialize. As the election draws closer, the fate of the Pualugu Dam remains intertwined with the broader political landscape. Both Bawumia and Mahama have made commitments to advance the project, and voters are faced with the task of deciding which candidate is best positioned to fulfill these pledges. For many, the decision will not just be about the dam itself, but about the future trajectory of development in the northern regions, an area historically underserved by national infrastructure projects. The political significance of the Pulugu Dam cannot be overstated. It reflects the ongoing struggle to balance national ambitions with local needs and to ensure that development reaches all corners of the country. As residents of the Upper East region weigh their options, they do so with the knowledge that, that their voices will play a critical role in determining the dam's future. In the end, the engagement of local communities in the political process will be essential in shaping not just the outcome of the election, that, but the future of the Pualugu Dam itself. If today is your first time watching this channel or you are returning to this channel for the exciting content, please subscribe to the channel for more educative and developmental projects across Ghana and Africa as a whole. Do you want to know about the state of a project in Africa? Then make sure to like and comment the name of the project you would like us to talk about and its current state.